G'day everyone, James here from Mandar Outboards. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on our latest 7.6 metre Yellowfin Southerner, which is due to head out to its new owners tomorrow. The 7600 Southerner is the biggest Southerner that Yellowfin make. They do it in the, in, in the Southerner hardtop configuration like we have behind me. They also do it in a centre console and centre cab configuration. I think even a rear console as well. Like all Southerners and like a lot of the folks in the Yellowfin range, this boat comes packaged up on a aluminium I-beam trailer, all set up from the factory itself in Queensland. So when the boats are delivered to us, boat, motor, trailer are all fitted out together from Yellowfin. It's all been done by the one company. All the electronics are done, all the you know from GPS's and sounders to uh, navigation lights and toilets and everything's under everything's under Yellowfin factory. So as I mentioned, aluminium I beam trailer, standard with electric over hydraulic brakes, spare wheel standard as well, and also the catch and release system is very good as well. Now, 7.6 metre southerner, six metre bottom sheet, four wheel side sheet, and standard with zip weight trim tabs. So some of our cousins have got five mil bottom sheets with floodable keels. If you're into that, you're into that. But we like the way that Yellowfin has the heavier bottom sheet and you don't have to worry about pushing water at the boat's backside all the time to make it stable. This boat's in a two-tone grey. It's the dark grey uh, on the outside, and then as we jump inside, you'll see we've got the pipeline grey on the inside. A couple of features you can sort of notice on the outside. We've got a, a pot winch and tipper, which we'll talk, a lot, talk about a little bit later. We've also got uh, electric anchor winch system, which is gonna be standard on a boat of this size. We've got that packaged up with a Sarka anchor. If your dealer's not giving you a Sarka anchor, then you're getting ripped off. The Sarka anchors are the best anchor out in the market, in my opinion, and they are, well, they're made to suit the yellowfin bow spits for starters, and then they're also just just a great just a great all-round anchor. So as we work our way around the boat, we've got this boat powered up with a Merc 250 horsepower Verado four-stroke. So this is the top of the line 250. Our 250, or well, the Merc 250, is a 4.6 litre V8. So when you're watching my uh, my mate's videos, Uncle Aaron in Queensland, make sure you ask him what his what, what, what the cubic capacity of his 250 is, and just ask him, hey, Aaron, is, is, is it a 250 V8, 4.6 litre V8? Um, it's got a power steering system set up from factory as well, and with a 250 on the back, this pushes a boat along very close to the 40 knot mark, about 75 kilometres an hour, um, 70, about 75 kilometres an hour on the water, and which is very close to 40 knots. Of course, I'll keep coming around. As standard on the boats, on the, on the Southerners, as a part of the Platinum Pack, early bucket, things like zip weight trim tabs, fully sealed decks with non-return scuppers in them, live bait tanks and bait boards. Keep coming around, Steve, and we'll probably go in the boat. Actually, just before we go in, turn a bit closer, we'll just show those at home our tipper. So, a lot of Western Australian boaters, or a lot of Southern customers, and you know, a lot of WA boaters, utilise the pot winch and tipper. Uh, electric, ink, the electric pot winch and tipper, obviously it's just so much easier than pulling them up by hand, especially when you've got a few crays in it. So we put a couple of stainless steel spigots in the top deck here and we get these custom made to suit each, each yellow fin. And then we put a bit of hose over the, uh, over, the, over the arms here or over the framework of the tipper, just for obvious reasons, so you don't lose your paintwork on your new $100,000 boat. So we do that, uh, we do that at Mandar Outboards and that looks yeah, that looks pretty good and everyone's been happy with them. Keep coming in, Steve. Uh, transom door, like on all southerners and all yellow fins, really nice transom door. I've got on this boat. I'll just finish touching on the pot winch and tipper system. This is our actual capstan style winch. This is a, a foot switch we make. Uh, yeah, for, for this system, I mean, this foot, this this switch here comes as standard out of the box when you buy the winch itself. But instead of having it mounted into the deck here, so you've always got to lean up against something or have something mounted to the floor, and some plug into the winch, and then that can go anywhere over. That can be that can be anywhere. You can have it. You can have it over here, and it'll still reach over the other side. Anywhere on the boat, you can have that. So we do that at Manor Outboards. Everyone's been happy with them and I reckon they look pretty good. Once you're finished with it for the day, let's put it in a little cover so you don't scratch your paint. You can throw it in the cabin, you can throw it down the back under one of the seats in the esky. <coughs> Excuse me. 
or even just in the side pocket there. Underneath the floor, vinyl light flooring. I like to put this in a lot of our southerners for those who aren't going sort of the sea deck or the deck armor option, purely because the checkered plate gets so hot and you've got to look after the feet one way or another. So vinyl light flooring, we put this in all of our southerners, keeps the feet cool, is easy to drain out. Look after a few seasons, it's probably going to turn a bit ratty. You can throw it out and start again, okay? Nice tackle box here on bait board, all lockable. You've got your bait trays. You watch a lot of videos, you've seen all the photos, how they lock in. Nice and easy. Line holders as well. Dual batteries behind our, um, behind, behind the back there. And then also our rear bench seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, uh, 11. 11 and six is 17. So I think that's 17 rod holders on the boat so far. That should do us. This boat's been set up with storage under the skipper seat, but we've gone for the split lead esky under the passenger side seat. So we can slide that out. It's a split lead esky. That's great. You don't have to worry, you don't actually have to pull it out all the time. You can still just lift the lid without having to pull the whole esky out and still get access to food and drinks in there. Other options are to have two storage compartments underneath each sheet. So, you know, replicate this over in the port side. You can also look at putting an electric, um, like a 12 volt fridge in the port or starboard side as well. You can run twin twin standard or twin eskies, you know, two eskies that replicate this over there as well and have dual eskies if you, if you really want to. Or you can even put a, a fridge slide in. You would have seen some yellow fins with them out on the market. Um, some other dealers in the East Coast have done that and run at Engels and Wacos and, and whatnot. Up top, like all yellow fins are standard, collapsible rod holders. And you can just see, just show off Steve the two-tone paint. So this is a bit of a paint option. Oh, this is this looks quite smart, this boat. I think I say that about every yellow fin, but they all do look very smart. Two-tone gray. So dark gray on the top decks, your gunnels in the outside, and then your pipeline gray on the inside, just to just to change things up a little bit. It's got all the nice standard, all your good standard features, standard features such as your deck wash systems, live bait tanks, sinker cups, um, you know, VHF radios. And as we work our way at the front, this boat's got NSS-12, Simulator NSS-12, all fitted at the factory. Mercury Vessel View 502. That's where we're seeing our engine data for our Merc Parado. Fly-by-wire controls. We've all got fly-by-wire controls. It's a beautiful thing. Zip wakes, trim tabs, VHF radio. And inside, that's where we've got our toilet. I'll just jump in there and I'll just show over that. So that's your flushable toilet. There you are. That's not too bad. And you've got an operation switch just, just in here below. <clears throat> just up top and easy, easy, you know, easy, easy to reach. It's got a couple of functions to that. And that's great. You can have the roll, you obviously get the roller door for privacy. You can lift the hatch up for aeration, and what actually does come to sleeping in the bunk. Now I'm probably oh, close to 180 centimeters. This boat hasn't been optioned with the uh, bunk infill cushion. However, easy to do afterwards and easy to do at the factory. I'm a good 170 to 180, and I've got plenty of room in there. So there's no reason why you can't turn this into a double bed. If, even if you have one person, one adult that side, one adult, adult this side, and you had clothes or bags in the middle, or if you wanted to uh, just put a bunk in, fill cushion there, and completely make it a double bed, that's just about as good as home, okay? All right. So there's a pretty good walkthrough of our latest 7600 Southerner to head out in the water. I think, as I said earlier, I say, I say it about every Yellowfin Southern we put out in the water, the water they all look spectacular. They go very well. They've got beautiful visibility through the front windscreens with the zip weight trim tabs coming on a standard. It's just another thing you don't have to worry about boat falling over into a, into a sea breeze or into a strong breeze. That just takes all the work out of it for you, the zip wakes. You can just focus on driving, having a good time with your family and friends and getting home safely and having ultimately a great day's fishing as well. So for any further information on the Yellowfin Southern range, feel free to get in touch through all the socials, Facebooks, Instagrams, 
mandraoutboards.com.au or 08 7224 and we look forward to seeing you in the dealership. Cheers.